Kosai is the spirit of all that happens in the mind of a child being challenged by fresh ideas and discovering something new. Kosai teaches this world of science exploration one person, one experience at a time. The aha factor comes into play when a child discovers the excitement of science. And sometimes that excitement overshadows other obstacles in their life. As in the case of Marley, a little girl severely burned after her babysitter put her in scorching hot bath water. Uh, Marley's mother brought her to Kosai and she saw the water table there. And she saw other children playing at the water table and in Marley's mind that must have meant that it's safe, that it's okay. Because she ran to the water table and she played in the water for the first time since her accident. She actually played in the water. Um, and then after that, Marley went to the clinic and practiced putting bandages on one of our teddy bears, uh, just like the bandages she wore on her legs. She called them her silly socks. And um, so she showed uh, how she could put bandages on a bear just like she had bandages on her legs. And that was a, a really uh, touching moment for me to, to understand how much of a difference we can make in people's lives by putting them in touch with these things that normally they don't get to play with. COSI strives to make science fun through hands-on discovery. The COSI on Wheels program, which travels to schools that can't travel to COSI, brings out the best in some students. I was at a school one time and a student was building these towers with uh, dowel rods that had Velcro wrapped around them. And the student was there for, you know, quite a long time and the teacher came up to me and said, do you see that student there? And I thought she was going to tell me that he'd been at that station too long, that he needed to move on and see something else. And she said, he has ADD, and I've never seen him do anything for 20 minutes. COSI Academy challenges aspiring scientists to be all they can be and opens doors that might normally not be open. I had one guy in particular that was a little timid, and, and um, his mom came up, and uh, he was timid at the start, and I watched him grow all this time into this very outspoken, very um, articulate young man. And uh, he... Uh, his mom came up and told me that if it weren't for Costa Academy and some of my influences that he probably wouldn't have gone to college uh, in the field that he was going to do and um, and the kid also you know was very uh, thankful and was giving me hugs and stuff like that it's just it's just amazing the the impact that we can have on e individuals and big groups here at Costa Families looking for a place to take their little ones come away with a much bigger realization that their children were doing so much more than just playing. We hear it all the time how people are discovering new things about their kids in kids space or they never knew their kids could do that or knew so much about a subject when we talk about things in preschool workshops. So it both changes the lives of the students and the, and the kids, but it also changes the lives of the parents because it brings an awareness to their kids' abilities and it doesn't set limitations. If I can allow one child to be successful, to reach inside themselves, and uh, I joke about it, uh, I, I tease children about one day someone will call your name. So my benchmark is when your name is called, what will you say? Teens involved in COSI's Scott's miracle Grow Capital Kids program can say the word limitation is not in their vocabulary. I can think of instances, um, particularly one where we had a guest presenter, um, uh, Miss Kathy Sullivan came and spoke to our kids about her career, and our students were able to say, wow, I never thought it would be possible to be an astronaut, especially being a young girl, and now that I've seen her, I'm inspired to even research and see what I can do to become one uh, one day in my future. On rare occasions, unique individuals touch our lives, and we find ourselves never being the same again. Christy Thomas was one of those individuals. We first met Christy four years ago, after her family drove from Tiffin for a visit. A week after her first visit to COSI, Christy was diagnosed with cancer and was in and out of hospitals. But that never stopped Christy from pushing to learn more about science. COSI was a place where she found a bit of normalcy, She's always been a huge COSI fan, and she's, whenever she was healthy, um, and usually when she was sick, she wanted to come to COSI and see what new stuff we had and, and play with me. And <clears throat> so COSI definitely affected her life. I can't teach a child without thinking about her. These stories are unique, special, and extraordinary. 
They are what can and does happen when children are pushed to discover new ideas about science and the world around them. I would like people to think about science in the same way they think about art and music and poetry, that it's something that people do. It's a human thing. It's a human expression. And uh, someone who does science has just as much passion and just as much love and curiosity and wonder about the universe as someone who paints a beautiful picture or writes a wonderful book. That beauty of science is the spirit of COSI. It's that spirit which will guide all that happens here in the years ahead.